everyone. So as you can see from my face, I just finished filming this video about uh, this um, uh, diamond shadows in Miami Beats. Yes, Diamond Shadow Palettes in the Color Selection of Miami Beats. Anyway, uh, I also thought to myself that, hmm, this is quite a sparkly and quite outstanding uh, makeup look. How to make it even more sparkly and more outstanding? And I have this. So this is the Biss Holographic Lipstick. I'm going to take it out and, um, yeah. So it lo looks like this, really cheap, really flimsy. But I swatched it in the store, like again a few months ago, because that's how it usually goes for me. And I really liked it. It was really, really interesting. So I'm going to try to use this not only as a lipstick on my lips, but also as a highlighter and an inner corner highlighter. So multiple ways to use this. So first let's let's open this up. Okay. God sets. And then let's look at it a little bit closer, what it looks like. Is it as sparkly as I remember? And then let's try it on um, multiple different ways because, you know, if a product can be used in multiple ways, it's a lot more fun. You get a lot more for your money. And this was about, um, I don't know, three, 370 euros. So cheap. So if it worked in multiple ways, that's going to be really, really cool. <laughs> so let's take a closer look. Okay, so this is what this flimsy little thing looks like. Is it on the right way? No, it wasn't the right way. The wire has to be up. Yes, this is the right way. So this is what this little flimsy thing looks like. So just like a pure white um, lipstick in a tube. So let's take it out. Looks like this. And let's swatch it on my hand. It's just a swatchy, swatchy. And it is sparkly. I remember correctly. It's kind of like um, kind of like sparkle everywhere kind of thing. Ooh, wait for a bit. I have an idea. Wait, did you wait for a bit? Yes, you did. So my idea was this. This is the holographic stick from Essence, and I think it looks similar. Yeah. So this upper one is um, the best one we're currently looking at. This lower one is. No way, the holographic stick is way more. Mm -hmm. So if you want something a little bit more downplayed, then it's the best one. And if you want something more in your face, then it's the holographic stick one. So of course I have a video about this. I have a video about everything because I really like to make makeup videos. <laughs> oh, I'm pathetic, I know, I know. Anyway, let's try this one out on my face as well. And you can look at this and the try on for this one and the look for this one from from, yeah, from just searching all the videos I've already posted. And I'm back in front of you, which means it's time to play. So first I'm gonna try to put it on my lips, as it is a lipstick, so I'll just kinda... Um, I ruined it. Okay, that was not a good idea. I'm gonna clean it real fast and then we'll be back, and I think the lipstick thing has to be the raw, raw, raw. The last thing we do, so we could use it in multiple ways, but it's probably going to be on everything, transferred to everything, and I got it done. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna use this first <laughs> as a highlighter. So just going to, whoop, oh, 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 this, this looks nice. Wow, wow, okay, mm-hmm, this, 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 this is amazing as a highlight. Do you see this? This is amazing. I mean, with the one I've already had before, yeah, this one, the holographic stick, it was a little bit too blue and it too bright, but this one, uh, you know, and also in the hand, you can see it's a little bit less like a blue undertone. It's, it's nice. It's, it's, if you want a blinding highlighter, this is it. So I'm gonna do the other side as well, really fast. Mmm, this is, this is nice, this is really nice. Okay, so both sides are done. And if you want to sparkle to heaven, this is the thing for you. So I'm going to put it on my nose a little bit as well. And really, if you just want to sparkle to high heavens and not look back, this, this, this is the way to go. This, this, this packs a punch. This is good. So Cupid's bow. Mm-hmm. 
not and still it kind of takes a little bit of my foundation on it so we knew it was gonna happen because it happened on the lipstick so I'm gonna clean it off with a little <laughs> dirty makeup wipe again oh it's flimsy you can kind of just take it out of its cell so it's a cell for lipstick it's a lipstick tube it's a cell for lipstick I just invite I invite <laughs> I just invented a new word. That's how smart I am. Okay, so I'm gonna take a little, little you know what? I'm gonna use this little applicator tool from the from the from the diamond shadow palette. I'm just going to kind of gather it on the very tip like this. I'm going to put it into my uh, uh, inner corner highlights. Ooh, this, 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 yeah. Just like it packs a punch on the nose, it's, it's, it's really blinding here as well. But I kind of just destroyed my inner corner look <laughs> on this side, so I kind of need to redo it. But the corner that I managed not to destroy, this part looks really, really cool. So I'm going to redo this side now. Yeah, that's what happened. That happens. So I'm just gonna take some on my finger and put it on my lips. Ah, you know what? Going like this on the lips is the way to go. Okay, it took off a lot of lipstick. It is a little bit, um, I think it is like Vaseline or something. And Vaseline is, is like, um, is a great way to kind of take everything off that you have underneath. So I'm not surprised. So the finger is better. Especially the fingers better. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry for that joke. So it is the finger is better to be used if you're going on like li liquid lip or something. And probably on the foundation as well, it's better if you don't go straight on it. But it is good. It's really good. It's like really blinding and it's really good. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna redo my inner corner look and uh, then we can actually finish up and I just kind of spread everything around on my hands. Who else? So actually we can also finish up right away. Is it good? Yes. If you want a blinding highlights, if you want to shine up to the gods, this this little thing is the way to go. Is it flimsy? Yes. It's it's three seventy. What do you expect? but it's really really blinding so it's really really nice if you're out for that kind of look you can use it anywhere I wouldn't say it's more of a lipstick um, and maybe if you don't have lip, lip lip any kind of lip color underneath so I'm probably gonna take a few pictures with just this and no lip color underneath but it's a really good highlight like it's a really nice highlight but you have to be careful because it is pretty much like Vaseline based and you might end up destroying something so got to redo one of my eyes now but it it was worth it it was most definitely worth it so thank you for watching I think I've actually said everything so I'm not gonna do an actual ending this time so thank you for watching I'm gonna put my glasses back up so I see something thank you for watching and I hope you had fun and if you're wondering if it's good it is for some things like damn that that that's really nice and um Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you again, watching some of my other videos. If you want to see my eye makeup before it ended up being destroyed, you can look at this video. It's the Diamond Shadows video. This way is the correct way. And um, I hope to see you again, watching some of my other videos. And thank you so much for stopping by. And I like it. I really do like it. So thank you. <laughs> thank you. And what else fun? Bye bye.